Hello again, we're going to talk about brushless DC motor drives today. Uh, these are found in uh, things like a hard drive, a typical hard disk out of a, out of a uh, computer. Uh, for that matter, the, the fan, the cooling fan out of a computer. Here's a fan I uh, took to pieces earlier and um, sort of destroyed. And we can see a nice little motor there. I'll try and come back to that one if I can. The magnets inside. What's DC about it? Well, it's known as brushless DC. Now, these are typically trapezoidal. And you look at the waveform, the voltage waveform, coming out of one of those windings. Well, there's nothing very uh, DC about it at all. Except if we look closely, there's a flat portion here. And then there's flats on the others, symmetrically. And notice what we're doing. <laughs> what we're doing here is we squirt in the current. What we're showing here is squirting in the current exactly when the voltage is flat. So it's, and again, it's a flat current. And what does DC mean? Well, it means flat. Well, it's not flat for very long, but it's flat for a little while. And if we uh, look closely, we squirt uh, this one in here, and it's coming in here and out of there, that's got positive volts, that's got negative volts. So actually, two of those windings are working at any one time, and they cycle through. So it's this one and that one, and then this one and that one, and so on. Six different sets of two of the three windings. So it is DC after a fashion. Well, let's check some of that uh, with one of these uh, motors here. Here's a hard drive I took together took to pieces earlier and uh, uh, there's the disc and there's the motor the the windings concentrated uh, poles there with windings on them and in fact a multiple of three if you count carefully uh, four wires coming out the back and there's the disc itself with a rotor there with magnets on it the gray is the magnets around there well let's just have a look at the voltage waveform coming back if I put that back on there, that spins, and on the oscilloscope, we should be able to measure the voltage coming back as I spin it. So we'll come on one of those connections, give it a nice little spin, and there's a nice waveform coming back. If I spin it slowly, use lower volts and a lower frequency. If I give it a fast spin, if I can, with another one. There's a nice fast one. Lots of volts, lot of higher frequency. And of course that's going nothing like the speed it goes in the hard drive itself. You'll notice that there's nothing very um, square or DC about that at all. That looks like a perfect sine wave. Well, in the end of the day, does that really matter? Let's look at a hard drive again. Think about the fact if the, if, if the voltage isn't flat and the current isn't flat, that means that that means the torque won't be uniform and smooth. But we're talking about uh, cheap drives that have to be low cost. And look at the disc. The disc itself is high inertia. So the pulsations in the torque don't matter very much. Uh, they will be smoothed out by the disc itself. What matters is low cost. We have to squirt this current in to get the torque at the right time. It has to go in, in when the, when the, at the peak, around the peak here, given that this isn't very flat. How are we going to do that? Well, some schemes and books will talk about having Hall effect uh, um, sensors to give you the position. And uh, in fact, you can see that uh, on a floppy drive sometimes. You can see there's a little, a little magnet there and a Hall effect sensor um, around here somewhere. Is it there? I think it's there. Picking up uh, the position of the rotor, which was one sensor. Why? Because sensors are expensive. On this hard drive, there's no sensors at all. But remember what we said. We're using two out of the three windings. That means the third one in sequence, any of the third ones in sequence, is available to give us some voltage and tell us what the waveform is. So that's exactly what's done in a, uh, in a hard drive, in a modern hard drive. Uh, it's got the chips and all to drive that, to work the, where, to put the current in. So here's one I took to pieces 
earlier. In fact, a student took to pieces for me. So there's the electronics, there's the motor, there's the four wires coming through, three-phase motor here. And what we'll find is that, of course, when it starts, there is no voltage. So it doesn't know where it is. So to start is difficult. It takes a little while. It takes a few goes. But once it's started, then it can lock in on that nice pattern and then get the nice peak torque out and you should see it accelerate quickly. So I'll just hold that, squeeze that together, make sure it's all on and turn it on. It's struggling to start and away it goes. And it goes backwards, it goes forwards, it struggles and struggles and then suddenly takes off. Let's see that again and it starts to sound just like your hard drive in your computer. Of course they try to make it quiet. Let's try that again just to see that. There it goes. And of course remember this has not got the discs on, so this hasn't got the right load, so it is struggling more than it would normally. And of course this is fine because the load is not changing, the discs are always the same. Uh, it's, a, it's a very cheap and effective scheme, but requires a lot of electronics or a lot of sophistication from the motor drive point of view. Let's have another go. There we go. Lovely. So that was three phase. If we might trying to make a fan, well, we might want to go down to two phases. We can do that with two phases. A bit tricky because there's a space in between where it may not start at all. So to get the fan right is very tricky. How do I know it's two phase? Well, it, you, you can't, that's four there. So it's two, uh, two uh, sets of uh, windings there. Um, there's no multiple of three in there, so it can't be three phase. But notice what they've done. They've stretched out this, they've shaped it. The magnet has special magnetization. A lot of cleverness to reduce, again, the cost, to get the cost right down and it's, uh, it's still trapezoidal brushless DC because it's still the same sort of idea in this case. There we go, the hard drive and how it works, the motor, how the motor works. Again, this one, four connections there. They're all the same in my uh, understanding. Thank you very much.